Hey friends, Will here. And if you're having trouble with your audio, maybe you've got background noise or noisy footage, then this tool will possibly save your footage. And if you're anything like me, then this tool will blow your mind. What I'm talking about is a new tool from Adobe called Adobe Podcast. And it's got a few voice enhancement tools which you can use at the moment in beta free of charge i've requested access to a full beta of the software but at the moment it's just a browser-based free plugin that you can use to feed it in your noisy audio and it will enhance it and give you back amazing sounding audio now what i'm going to show you in this video is how i've worked that into my final cut pro workflow so that I can put video into Final Cut, export the audio, feed the audio into the Adobe um, tool, and then export the enhanced audio, bring it back into Final Cut, and resync it with the video. And yeah, I can't stress enough how much my mind is blown by the awesomeness of this tool. So, if we jump into my screen, and I'm going to have to mute this audio, otherwise it's going to get annoying, then what I've done here is I've just recorded a very quick vlog clip in my living room with less than stellar conditions, really. Um, so I'm going to play you this clip first, and then I'm going to, or I'll play you some of this clip, and then I'll show you the workflow, how to use the tool, and hopefully the awesome results that it gives us so this is the uh, clip here right now i'm sat in my living room and this is the sony a7 IV and i've got the rode video micro attached to the camera just for a general vlogging setup now the rode micro super small super affordable microphone and the room that I'm in is just my living room, so there's no audio treatment in here. There is just some soft furnishings, carpet, sofa, and a rug, that kind of thing. And I live on quite a busy road, and right now I'm sat next to the window, and I've got the window open. And there's actually a rail crossing just over there, and the crossing is, is down at the moment. So I've got cars parked all along this road, so this is quite a good test for Adobe Enhance because not only am I in an untreated room with a very, very low cost microphone, I've probably got a fair bit of background noise, traffic in the background and stuff like that. And I must say, if I move away from this window now, um, I must say that since I've moved into this flat, uh, I've struggled quite a lot in previous places that I've lived with very little sound treatment, I've been quite happy with my sort of YouTube setup, as it were. But in this flat, it does seem to reverberate a lot more than other places that I've been. So, yeah, so this is just a short clip to test, to give us something to test. Um, and definitely not the best environment for us to conduct the test in any way, shape or form. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, how much of this traffic noise and road noise we can actually block out with the tool. So, as you can tell from that clip, it's not like the worst possible audio that we could have, but it's certainly less than optimal. What I've done here so far is I've recorded my uh, little video clip and I've just brought it in and I've created a project in Final Cut and I've dragged that on to the timeline. Now, before I do any cuts or anything to your footage, you're gonna to want to export this audio just as it is. So what you can do is you can do share, and then really you can do any of your, you know, you can do an export, uh, default export, and then in the settings, you can come into format, and you can just say audio only, and then you can also change the audio format uh, at the moment, the tool only accepts MP3 and WAV. So I will export a WAV file here. And then I will say next. And it's going to ask me where I want to save this. So I've already got um, 
a folder set up so you can put this wherever you want on your desktop on a hard drive in a folder somewhere where you're going to remember where it is um, I'm going to give this a name so I'm going to call it audio test 2 just because I've got a separate file um, in there so I'm just giving it a different name but you can call it whatever you want and then I'm going to save that and you can see that's going to export very quickly and I'm just going to close uh, that file I don't need that file anymore so I'll get rid of that so this is where we now jump over to this new Adobe tool. So in your browser, you're going to go to your browser and you can see we've got podcast.adobe.com. This is where you can um, request access to the full beta, but with, a, with a, any Adobe account, you can uh, access already podcast.adobe.com forward slash enhance. And that is the browser based sort of test version of this tool okay um so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the upload button and i'm going to select my audio my wav file here and i'm going to say open and this is real time now i'm just waiting for it to enhance the speech it will obviously take longer or shorter depending on the length of the footage and because this is a beta and it's free you will have a limit to the file size that you can upload. At the moment, it's saying some files take up to two, 10 minutes to enhance. Now, I have done this with a WAV file, so I will come back to you in a second when this has finished enhancing. Okay, so we're done, and that was literally less than, less than two minutes for that clip. And then in the actual browser here, we can test... Uh, we can click play and we can hear the enhanced version and we can also click this toggle so we can hear the before and the after. Now you probably won't be able to hear that very well because I've not outputted the audio from my computer for this video but I will play you in a second when we get it back into Final Cut so you can have a decent listen to the uh, results that we're getting from this tool. So we're then going to click the download button and I'm saving this as you know, you can give it a name and save it somewhere uh, that makes sense to you. So we can say save. And then once we've done that and we've downloaded it, you can either, I mean, I can drag it straight from Chrome here or I can navigate to my finder to where I've got my project here. And then I can say audio test to enhanced and I can drag that into my footage. So once we've imported that, all we then need to do is select our original video clip and we can press command and click our enhanced audio file. So we've got both of those files selected in the browser of Final Cut. And then we can right click and say synchronize clips. And then we can in here, we can give it a new name if we want to choose which event we're saving it into. And we can also say use audio for synchronization. It's really important that that's ticked. And then we're going to say OK, and that's going to create a new synchronized clip. So if I, from my project that I'm playing with here, I'll just delete that original clip and I will uh, drag my synchronized clip onto the timeline. And if I double click in the synchronized clip, then you can see that the audio has perfectly lined up in this case with the uh, video clip because it's the same audio, so why wouldn't it? Um, so if we come back from that, we can then play this on the timeline. And this is where I'll, I'll probably cut away from my screen and show you the actual exported footage so that you can hear it properly. Right now, I'm sat in my living room and this is the Sony a7 IV and I've got the Rode Video Micro attached to the camera. Right now, I'm sat in my living room and this is the Sony a7 IV and I've got the Rode Video Micro attached to the camera just for a general vlogging setup. Now the Rode Micro, super small, super affordable microphone and the room that I'm in is just my living room so there's no audio treatment in here. There is just some soft furnishings, carpet, sofa and a rug, that kind of thing. and. I live on quite a busy road and right now I'm sat next to the window and I've got the window open and there's actually a rail crossing 
just over there and the crossing is is down at the moment so i've got cars parked all along this road so this is quite a good test for adobe enhance because not only am i in an untreated room with a very very low cost microphone i probably got a fair bit of background noise traffic in the background and stuff like that so yeah isn't that amazing how crazy the improvement is between the before and the after how quick and easy it was to run the audio file through that software re-export it and get it back into final cut it's really quite a game changer if you're doing any kind of voiceover stuff or um any podcasts obviously that's what adobe have got in mind for it but even just like this video now like this audio you're listening to is recorded in my office it's not sound treated yes i've got a good mic on and everything but it still sounds roomy but yeah i've put this through adobe enhance and the audio you've been listening to for this whole video has been outputted through adobe enhance and resynced in final cut to give it much better quality than if i wasn't using it so yeah absolutely mind-blowing so if you've got a bit of noisy footage and you wish it was just a bit better give this adobe enhance a try and i don't know what the future is in store for the full adobe podcast software when they release that you know i don't know the scope of that presumably it will end up being paid within the creative cloud subscription but yeah this is amazing and just another example of how ai is really changing the world incredibly fast right now and you know there's definitely some parts of ai that i'm dubious about but this is certainly a tool that i'm incredibly excited about so yeah crappy audio give this a try it seems mind-blowing so that's it for today thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time